The Republican-led House of Representatives approved a bill Tuesday afternoon banning women's ability to seek abortion after the 20-week mark. The far-reaching bill passed on a mostly party-line vote would make such abortions a crime punishable by prison. Politicos say it stands almost no chance of becoming a law under the Obama administration. USA Today reports the White House has already issued a veto threat calling the bill an assault on women's right to choose. And the Democrat-controlled Senate also refused to take up the bill. On the House floor, California Democrat Zoe Lofgren said the bill is unconstitutional and a direct challenge to Roe v. Wade, the 1973 U.S. Supreme Court decision which legalized abortion nationwide. And Business Week notes in 1992, the court reaffirmed that the government can't ban abortions before the fetus is capable of living outside the womb which is generally considered to begin at 24 weeks. However, supporters of the bill, including House Speaker John Boehner, justify the vote as a response to the recent murder conviction of Philadelphia physician Kermit Gosnell, whose disturbing late-term abortion procedures garnered national attention. Listen, after this uh, Kerm Kermit Gosnell trial and the, some of the horrific uh, acts that were going on, uh, a major vast majority of the American people uh, believe in the substance of this bill, and so do I. A blogger for the Washington Post says the abortion debate is tricky terrain for the GOP, who suffered big losses at the polls in 2012, in part for their inability to appeal to women voters. The debate on the bill allows Democrats to continue the theme of a GOP war on women and will provide more microphone time during which Republicans may get into rhetorical hot water. But the debate this time around seems to be framed a bit differently, with GOP lawmakers presenting their legislation in the context of protecting maternal and fetal health and around the fetus's ability to feel pain. North Carolina Republican Virginia Fox reportedly wept on the House floor when she explained the practice of murdering viable unborn children who can feel pain must end. At least 10 state legislatures have passed bills similar to the newly approved U.S. House bill. Two of those states' laws have been deemed unconstitutional by federal courts. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.